Hey everyone, today we are going to solve systems by graphing. So take out your lesson worksheet if you have a copy. If not, you're going to need a sheet of loose leaf paper, a sheet of graph paper, um, or a coordinate plane if you have that, a pencil, a ruler, and I think that will just about cover it. So let's get started. Okay, the first um, problem is solve the system by graphing and write the solution as an ordered pair. So we have two equations. We have 2x plus y equals 7, and we have x minus 3y equals 21. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that both equations are in slope-intercept form. In other words, we have to make sure that both of our equations are solved for y. So let's do that first. So our first equation is 2x plus y equals 7. So if I want to put this in slope-intercept form, I'm going to have to subtract 2x from each side. And that's going to give me y equals negative 2x plus 7. Our second equation is x minus 3y equals 21. If I want to solve this one for y, I'm going to subtract x from each side. Now when I subtract that x, this negative sign is going to stick with my 3y. So I have negative 3y equals, and when I bring down this negative x, I'm going to make sure I put a 1 in front of it, because that's pretty important. And that's a positive 21 on the end. And then remember, we're going to divide everything by negative 3. And this equation would be written y equals 1 third x, don't make that a repeating decimal, we don't want that, and then 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7. All right, we are on step 2. So we are going to graph these equations. We're going to graph both of them on the same graph. So let's do the first one in pink. This will be our pink equation. I'll mark a little dot there so we know. So our y-intercept is positive 7. That's where we're going to start. So I'm going to put my first point right here on positive 7. And then my slope is negative 2. Negative 2 is the same thing as negative 2 over 1. So if my slope is negative 2 over 1, I'm going to be going down 2, and I'm going to go 1 to the right. So from here, down 2 and 1 right, put a point down 2 and 1 right, down 2 and 1 right, and it's really important to put as many points as you can possibly fit on this graph, and then go the other direction. Right? So go both ways, as many points as you can possibly fit. And then, if you want to, which probably be a good idea, is you can draw a line. Right? So we can draw a line to connect our points kind of adjust it. It's probably a little easier for me to do it on the computer here maybe, but you can do this using a ruler at home. So here's my first line. Okay, now we're going to graph the second one. So I will do the second one in a different color. Let's do the second one in blue. You know I like to be colorful. My y-intercept this time is going to be at negative 7, so that's down here. And my slope is 1 over 3. If it's positive 1 over 3, I'm going up 1, and I'm going 3 to the right. So from here, we're going to go up 1 and 3 to the right, put a point. Up 1, 3 to the right, put a point. Up 1, 3 to the right, and put a point. And you should notice that these lines are going to cross over somewhere, right? So when I draw this line here, I can see that my two points intersected or crossed over each other at a certain location. And that point is right here. So that is the solution of my system. And then I want to write that solution as an ordered pair. So I start at the origin and I count over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So positive 6, negative 5. Okay, so there is our first example of how to solve a system of equations by graphing. And let's try another one. Now, if you're feeling good about this and you want to try this one on your own, stop the video now, solve them both for y, graph them on the same graph, 
see where they cross over each other and write your answer as an ordered pair. And then you can start the video and check your work. Or if you don't feel comfortable yet and you want to watch me do another one, then just stay with me and we're going to keep on going. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve both of these equations for y. So I have y minus 10 equals x. I'm going to add 10 to each side. Right, they have to be solved for y first because we're graphing them. So this is going to be y equals, that's a plain x, right? So I can write a 1 plus 10. My second equation is 2x plus 2y equals negative 8. To solve this one for y, I'm going to have to subtract 2x from each side. And that's going to leave me with 2y equals negative 2x minus 8. And then I'm going to divide everything by 2. And that's going to leave me with y equals negative 1x minus 4. All right, let's be colorful again. So let's do this first one in pink. My y-intercept is at positive 10. It's all the way up here. And my slope is positive 1, right? It's 1 over 1. 1 over 1 means I'm going up 1, and then I'm going right 1. Well, how the heck am I going to do that when I run out of graph? So remember, if you can't go up and right, then we're just going to go down and left, right? So it's kind of on the, di not kind of, but actually just on this diagonal right here. So fit as many points as you can on the graph. And that's really important because when you're solving systems, you want to find the exact point of intersection. Okay, and I can draw a line here. And adjust it so it's like that. Okay, and then we'll do our next one in blue. Right, this will be our blue equation. So my y-intercept is at negative 4. That's going to be down here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this time my slope is negative 1 over 1. Negative 1 means we're going down 1. Positive 1 means we're going right 1. So down 1 and right 1 is going to put me on this diagonal. Right? And if I run out of room that way, remember, I'm just going to go the other direction. And I want to put as many points on this graph as I can possibly find. Then we're going to break out that ruler, and we're going to draw a line. And we're going to connect all of our points. Right? We're going to draw our line right through those points as best we can. And that's the important thing about putting as many points as you can on the line, because you are trying to find the exact point of intersection. And if you just put two or three points and break out your ruler and draw a line, there's a really good chance that you're not going to have it lined up perfectly on the graph as hard as you try, and then you're not going to get the correct solution, right? You won't find the correct point of intersection. This point right here is our solution. That is the exact point where these two lines cross over each other. So I start at the origin. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left and one, two, three up. So that ordered pair would be negative seven and positive three. And that is the solution of that system. What that means is if I were to take this value of x and this value of y and plug those values into both of these equations, they would both be true. So that's how you would check to make sure that your answer is correct. Hopefully this is helpful and you understand how to solve systems by graphing. If you need to watch the video again, you can certainly do that and I would recommend it. Um, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to a classmate or certainly your teacher. We are here to help and we love, love questions. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.